Greetings to all our Listopia enthusiasts. We're here to journey through time and across the globe, unearthing tales of extraordinary women who have left indelible marks on our world. From the hallowed pages of literature to the hushed halls of healthcare, from the spirited campaigns for equality to the pulsating world of science, from the glitz of the fashion world to the compassionate corners of humanity, and finally, to the high stakes of political influence. We invite you to join us on this voyage of discovery, so without any further ado, let's dive into the world of these incredible women. Our journey begins in the late 1700s with the renowned British author Jane Austen. Born into a world of bonnets and ballrooms, Austen used her sharp wit and keen observation to craft stories that brilliantly painted the social and cultural landscape of her time. She penned six major novels during her lifetime, including enduring classics like Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Emma. Each of these works presented a vivid depiction of life in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, offering readers an intimate glimpse into the manners, morals, and mindsets of the era. But Austen's influence extends far beyond her adept portrayal of historical context. She is celebrated for her innovative approach to narrative, which saw her pioneering the use of free, indirect speech, a technique that allows the reader to hear a character's thoughts while maintaining the author's narrative voice. This was groundbreaking at the time and has since become a staple in modern literature. Moreover, Austen's novels filled with strong, intelligent female protagonists subtly challenged the societal norms of her time. Through characters like Elizabeth Bennet and Emma Woodhouse, Austen gave voice to women's experiences and perspectives in a way that was both rare and revolutionary. Austen's novels have transcended time, continuing to inspire and entertain readers to this day. Her profound influence on literature remains evident, with her works being endlessly studied, adapted, and admired. In the realm of literature, Jane Austen undeniably holds a place of honor. Moving forward into the 1800s, we find Florence Nightingale a beacon of light in healthcare. Known as the Lady with the Lamp, Nightingale was an iconic figure during the Crimean War, but her influence extended far beyond the battlefield. Nightingale was more than just a nurse. She was a healthcare reformer, statistician, and a pioneering figure in public health. During the Crimean War she observed the horrific conditions of the military hospitals. Poor sanitation, lack of proper nutrition, and inadequate medical supplies were the norm. Nightingale couldn't stand by and watch. She set about making changes, implementing hygiene practices, improving food quality, and advocating for better medical supplies. But her work didn't stop when the war ended. Nightingale was a visionary who saw the potential for healthcare to be more than just treating the ill. She believed in prevention, in maintaining health, and in the power of cleanliness and sanitation. She returned to England and founded the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas a Hospital in London. This was a revolutionary move. Before Nightingale nursing was not considered a respectable profession, it was Nightingale who elevated it, setting standards for training and professionalism, turning nursing into the honored and respected profession we know today. Nightingale also understood the importance of data in healthcare. She used statistics to prove the impact of her sanitation reforms, visually representing the data in a way that was easy for anyone to understand. Her work laid the foundations for evidence-based healthcare, a cornerstone of modern medicine. Nightingale was a tireless advocate for the sick, the wounded and the destitute. She was a woman who believed in action, in making changes, and in improving the world around her. She worked until the end of her life, continuing to write and advocate for healthcare reform. Nightingale not only transformed healthcare during war, but set the standards for modern nursing. Her legacy is a testament to the power of vision, determination, and unrelenting compassion. We now delve into the era of the suffragettes with Emmeline Pankhurst. In the early 20th century a society existed where women were denied the right to vote. However one woman, Emmeline Pankhurst, stood up to challenge this status quo. Born in 1858 in Manchester, England, Pankhurst was raised in a politically active family. She was introduced to the women's suffrage movement at a young age and was inspired to fight for the cause. She formed the Women's Social and Political Union or WSPU in 1903, believing that only direct action could real change. Under Pankhurst's leadership, the WSPU adopted a militant approach to campaigning for women's rights, including public demonstrations, hunger strikes, and acts of vandalism. Despite being frequently arrested and jailed, Pankhurst and her fellow suffragettes continued their fight. 
Their efforts resulted in the 1918 Representation of the People Act in the UK, granting voting rights to women over 30 who met certain property qualifications. By 1928 women had been granted equal voting rights to men. Emmeline Pankhurst's determination and courage have made her a symbol of the fight for women's rights, influencing movements across the globe. She dared to envision a world where women had the same political rights as men. Pankhurst's fight for equality has changed history, paving the way for women's rights worldwide. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the impact an individual can have when they stand up for what they believe in. Emmeline Pankhurst, a true champion of equality, continues to inspire us to this day. Our next amazing woman is Marie Curie, a name synonymous with scientific breakthroughs. Born in Warsaw, Poland, in the mid-19th century, Curie's passion for science was kindled at a young age, a fire that would burn brightly throughout her life. Curie relocated to France in her early 20s, where she met and married Pierre Curie, a fellow scientist. Together they embarked on groundbreaking research into a mysterious phenomenon they named radioactivity. They discovered two new elements, polonium and radium, both of which emit this radioactivity. Their work was so revolutionary, it earned them the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. But Curie's journey didn't stop there. She continued her research alone after Pierre's untimely death, and in 1911 she was awarded a second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for her work on radium and polonium. This made her the first person in history to win Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields. Beyond her groundbreaking discoveries, Curie left another significant legacy. As a trailblazer for women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. In a time when women were often excluded from these fields, Curie broke through the barriers, becoming the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, and the first woman to become a professor at the University of Paris. Her story is one of resilience, passion, and unwavering dedication to science. It is a story that has inspired countless women to pursue careers in STEM, a testament to her enduring influence. Curie's groundbreaking work has left an indelible mark on the scientific world and continues to inspire generations. She has shown us that with determination and curiosity, we can unlock the mysteries of the universe and leave a lasting impact on the world. From science we move to fashion where Coco Chanel revolutionized the industry. Gabrielle Bonheur Chanel, better known as Coco Chanel, was a woman who dared to redefine the norms. It was the early 20th century when she launched her brand, a time when corsets and floor-length gowns were the norm for women. But Coco had a different vision. She introduced designs that were simple, comfortable, yet sophisticated. Her creations were a stark contrast to the extravagant fashion of the time. She championed the idea of casual chic, incorporating elements from menswear into her designs. From the iconic little black dress to the revolutionary Chanel suit, her designs were a breath of fresh air in an industry that was stifling women. Chanel's influence extended beyond clothing. She was a pioneer in the world of perfumes with Chanel No. 5 becoming one of the most renowned fragrances worldwide. She believed that a woman should wear perfume wherever she wants to be kissed, and through her scents, she gave women a new way to express their personality. Her approach to fashion was not just about style, but also about empowering women. She once said, Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live, what is happening. Through her designs, Chanel encouraged women to embrace their individuality and break free from societal expectations. Her influence on modern fashion is undeniable. Her minimalist designs, the use of jersey fabric, the collarless jackets, and the introduction of trousers for women have all become staples in the fashion world. Even today the Chanel brand remains synonymous with elegance and sophistication. Chanel was not just a designer, she was a fashion icon who transformed the industry and the way women dressed. She broke the molds, challenged the norms and in doing so, she created a fashion revolution. Chanel's fashion revolution continues to influence designers and fashion enthusiasts to this day. Now let's turn to the world of humanitarian work with Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa born as Angeze Gonche Bojakshu, was a beacon of compassion and selfless service. Born in the early 20th century, she dedicated the majority of her life to serving the poor and destitute, lighting up countless lives with her unwavering spirit of charity. In the bustling city of Kolkata, India, Mother Teresa's journey as a humanitarian truly began. She was deeply moved by the plight of the poor and decided to devote her life to their service. She established the Missionaries of Charity, an organization dedicated to caring for those who had no one else to turn to. This organization, starting with just 13 members, 
has since grown to over 4,000 sisters active in more than 100 countries. The Missionaries of Charity runs homes for people dying of HIV AIDS, leprosy and tuberculosis. They also operate soup kitchens, dispensaries, mobile clinics, children's and family counseling programs, orphanages, and schools. These services are offered to all, regardless of their religion, caste, or creed, truly embodying the spirit of universal love and acceptance that Mother Teresa believed in. Mother Teresa's influence extended far beyond the confines of Kolkata. Her message of love, compassion and selfless service resonated globally, inspiring millions to partake in humanitarian work. She received numerous awards for her tireless efforts including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. But for her, the accolades were secondary. She once said, We ourselves feel that what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean, but the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Her legacy is one of selfless service and boundless compassion. Even after her passing in 1997, Mother Teresa's work continues through the Missionaries of Charity. Her life story serves as a testament to the power of love and the impact one person can make when guided by empathy and selflessness. Mother Teresa's dedication to alleviating suffering continues to inspire millions around the world. Finally, we reach the era of modern politics with Margaret Thatcher, the first female British Prime Minister. Thatcher, often referred to as the Iron Lady, was known for her uncompromising politics and leadership style. She came into power at a time when Britain was grappling with economic challenges and she was determined to steer the country towards a new direction. Thatcher's political career spanned over three decades, with her tenure as Prime Minister running from 1979 to 1990. During this time she implemented policies that emphasized deregulation, flexible labor markets, and the privatization of state-owned companies. These economic reforms, later known as Thatcherism, sought to reduce the role of the state and boost the free market. Her influence wasn't limited to the shores of Britain. On the global stage, Thatcher was a formidable force. She was instrumental in ending the Cold War working alongside President Reagan to negotiate with the Soviet Union. Her strong stance against communism and her commitment to freedom and democracy were pivotal in shaping the political landscape of the late 20th century. But Thatcher's impact goes beyond her political achievements. As the first female British Prime Minister, she shattered the glass ceiling in a field that was, and still is, largely dominated by men. She proved that women could lead, make tough decisions and handle the pressures that come with running a country. Thatcher's political career set a new precedent, opening doors for women in politics worldwide. And there you have it, seven amazing women who have changed the world. We journeyed through the pages of Jane Austen's novels, stood in the war hospitals with Florence Nightingale, marched for equality with Emmeline Pankhurst, and delved into the fascinating world of radioactivity with Marie Curie. We were in awe of Coco Chanel's revolutionary fashion sense, inspired by Mother Teresa's selfless humanitarian efforts, and witnessed the political prowess of Margaret Thatcher. Each of these women left an indelible impression on the world, shaping it into what it is today. We hope you found their stories as inspiring as we did. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more exciting and informative content. We'd love to hear your thoughts so feel free to leave a comment. As we continue to celebrate the contributions of women, remember to keep exploring, learning, and growing with Listopia. Until next time.